Hello, uh, Jonathan here from Horse Construction again. Um, today, I'm looking at this Makita three-speed brushless impact we got here. Um, it uh, took a bit of a tumble and cracked the plastic casing, the clamshell, on either side. Uh, so I cleaned it up a little bit and I put some Gorilla Glue in there. Smeared it around pretty good on the inside, hopefully to uh, reinforce it a little bit. Um, I'm going to reassemble it, and there's some tape that you can get um, when you make it wet. It's like a cast. I'm going to wrap that around the handle, and hopefully it holds together. We'll see. I'm not sure how it's going to work. Might end up buying a new one, but that's not the important part right now. What I wanted to go over was... Um, I pulled this apart and I was looking at the inside here and I found it pretty interesting how Makita encased their computer boards in plastic or mold or whatever you want to call it so that it doesn't get wet and it doesn't get dusty and I just think it's a pretty neat thing that they did. The other thing I want to point out is this um, this here fuse now I'm not sure what this fuse does um, Makita is equipped with the star program I think that has something to do with it but I found it interesting because I've never seen this on any type of power tool before and I am thinking that's what Makita is using to ensure that you don't bl uh, burn up your tool if you use it too hard which we all know how that is um, you're out on the job, you're working, you're getting things done, and stuff's got to go, it's got to go. And tools, they uh, they get abused pretty hard, and um, that's just part of life. Um, the other thing I want to point out is this switch here. This switch seems to be a really good switch. It seems to make good contact compared to some of the switches that I've seen in different tools over the years. Um, uh, just looking at this motor, this would be a brushless motor, and that's, if you've never looked into brushless motors, um, should look up some videos on them sometime. It's quite interesting how they get these things to actually spin. You know, this here piece sticks in through the back here, um, or rather, rather this way. And the magnet holds it in there and it spins it's it's basically like from my understanding it's like a four pole induction motor it fires each one of these pins at at certain interval intervals which in turn spins this thing which will uh this sticks through there and sticks into the uh into the gear housing per se or the clutch for the impact part I just thought that was pretty cool um, the way these things work this is actually the first time I've ever had something apart like this I've had brushless stuff apart in the past but never had any uh, brush stuff brushless stuff apart so I just thought it was quite interesting to say the least um, this gear that drives these gears on the inside is different it's star shaped nice deep grooves on the uh, on the splines they are nice and deep so it makes good contact with the gears on the inside of here um, just yeah I thought it was pretty interesting these this particular impact I think think oh let me see this one's about uh a little two months over a year old right now which is pretty good for my crew um we tend to be pretty hard on things six months is getting quite a bit of life out of them they usually end up happening what happened to this one here they break or get run over by a petty bone or man lift or skid steer or something of that sort usually that's what happens but uh yeah i was just 
taking this thing apart. I got it all cleaned up here. Wait on my glue to set up and I'll stick it back together and uh, we'll see how it holds up.